Do you know that about half of 18 to 29 year olds live at home with their parents? That's according to Pew Research. They also found that about 18% of 25 to 34 year olds live at home with their parents. If you have adult children living in your house, clearly you're not alone. And the pandemic has made this even more common. So here's the thing. What we want is to live in harmonious situations. So how do you do this? Because a lot of times those adult children left your home and then they came back. Sometimes we call those boomerang kids. Well, I think the way we do it is to have what I call essential conversations, talking to the most important people about the most important things in our lives. So this means sitting down with your adult children and talking about some things. And by the way, it's not too late if they're already living with you. What kind of things do you need to talk about? Well, you want to talk about expectations. How long is this arrangement for? Is this open-ended? Or do you set a time period like six months and then we'll revisit it? Are there financial considerations? Do you want your adult children to contribute some money? Or it could be chores and time. Maybe you say, look, I'm not cooking dinner every night. I don't do that anymore. We now have a different life too. So maybe you need to cook dinner two or three nights a week. And there could be expectations that you have about how often they can have guests and whether those guests can sleep over. Another thing that I think people have to really consider are privacy issues for both of you. Are there rooms that are kind of off limits? They're just private spaces like bedrooms. Can anybody be in the living room at any time? You can see there are a lot of things that could be discussed. Remember the goal here is having harmony in your home. I really want to encourage you to have these conversations because when we talk about things and get them out in the open, they're less likely to become a problem. You know, I know people sometimes record these conversations. Other people write it out, what their agreements are, and everybody signs it. Now, if that feels too formal to you, that's okay. Just have the conversation and talk about what each of your expectations are about different things. We all want to live in harmonious situations and multi-generational living can be a wonderful thing, but it works better if we're all on the same page. So here's to having good essential conversations with your adult children.